This week's news made headlines about the Arizona Cardinals' allegations made during the suspension of then-general manager Steve Keim. The Cardinals responded quickly, which might have gotten them in a bit of trouble, but it also did something unexpected, at least for this writer and the fan. It made them look worse than the initial claims. I don't want to take Terry McDonough's allegations lightly, but what McDonough has brought to light seems like an unnecessary and sloppy cover-up and not serious allegations of cheating. I mean, why would Michael Bidwell have to get through the suspension of his own general manager? Believe me, if the Cardinals are in illegal contact with Steve Keim, they deserve punishment for being hilariously incompetent. However, it was the PR backlash about McDonough that worried me. In their response, the Cardinals outline a number of issues with McDonough a close family member writes that he was problematic confused about recent changes in Terry's behavior and that Terry gave up responsibility to one of his children cut him off financially. So, with ongoing personal and professional problems, they let a man wander their organization for 10 years. The PR response sums up years of alleged belligerent reactions and outbursts with colleagues. Was he still the third highest ranking official in the organization? While we don't know this, it seems odd that no action was taken until the caustic incident of McDonough and Michael Bidwell's disagreement. So as long as McDonough's anger and unprofessional behavior is taken away from the top of the organization, it's okay. This paints a picture of incompetence at the top and pervasive toxic behavior at worst. If the Cardinals cheated, that's a problem and needs to be addressed. If they let someone with these alleged difficulties work unbridled for years in and out of the office, then that becomes a huge problem.